Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu salam wa rasulullah. We continue reading from Imam al-Ghazali's Jawahir al-Quran, the Jews of the Quran. We have reached chapter 9 and uh, this is uh, Muhammad ibn Qasim's uh, translation and we are on uh, page 59. The allegories of red brimstone, greatest antidote, strongest mask, alood, corundum and pearls. Perhaps you wish to be fully aware of the hints and indications that are deposited under the jewels which, as we have already mentioned, the Qur'an includes. So I say, know that to people in the visible world, red brine so on means the alchemy, by which they are able to turn substances from their base qualities to precious qualities. This is something that they believed at, the, uh, at one point in, in history. So that by it, by it, stone becomes changed into corundum and copper into pure gold and thus through these they obtain access to the pleasures of the world which are in reality turbid and disturbed at present and will pass away in the near future do you not then consider the question is that which turns the essence of the soul from the vices of a beast and the error of ignorance to the purity of the angels and their spirituality so that the soul may advance from the lowest depth to the highest and obtain and obtain by it nearness to the lord of all the worlds and gaze upon his face always and perpetually most deserving of the name red brimstone or not this is why we have named it red brimstone So think deeply, consult with yourself, and be fair, so that you will realize that this name is the worthiest of this meaning and most correctly applicable to it. Then the most precious things obtained through alchemy are corundums, yaqut, the best type of which is the ruby. For this reason we have named, we have named it knowledge of divine essence. So the aim would be, uh, in as much as they believe that one could uh, change the nature of uh, matter of certain elements in nature to a higher, from that which is low base, like copper, into into gold. One could basically turn the uh, the soul from the level of a of a beast, or basically the level of a beast uh, in the Quran. In the Quran, the uh, animals have been used. F- f- in different contexts for example uh, they are but like animals indeed uh, more misguided or like the donkey carrying well, I mean, the donkey does not carry the books. Someone putting the uh, books on the back of a uh, of a donkey. The donkey will not benefit from these books. So such are such are the some of the examples that we uh, that we have, and people are. Uh, you have in the punishment of the uh, people of the book who uh, uh, the Jews who violated the Shabbat and I think this is very important people should stop saying um, they should understand that uh, it's the they should start from that part of the story those those who violated the Shabbat 
and that's very important to understand the the punishment this is the severe punishment being uh, transformed as a punishment into apes for example so again neither muslims nor non-muslims should uh, uh, drop the uh, the context which explains it is upholding the Shabbath we do have the Friday during the Friday prayer it is also prohibited for us to do business transactions you need to maintain certain uh, offices certain jobs uh, put certain uh, border police maybe the the army uh, firefighters uh, minimum uh, staff in uh, emergency rooms and hospitals so to be within reach at least if there's nothing going on but you don't need ice cream powders to uh, continue serving people during the Friday the Friday prayer and it's only during the Friday prayer if it's half an hour that's it if it's 20 minutes that's it if it's 35 minutes during the Friday prayer once the call for the private prayer is uh, is called stop business transactions don't sell don't buy but the idea is about uh, animals and in uh, and people do uh, lower uh, themselves to the level of, of animals through their uh, behavior as to the greatest antidote men understand it to mean that by which one is cured from destructive poisons entering the stomach although the destruction resulting from it is only destruction in the case of the perishable world consider the, consider therefore that if the poisons of heresy passions and errors entering the soul cause such a destruction that it always and perpetually stands between the elevation of the soul and the holy universe or the Adam al Qudus wa ma'din al ruh the holy universe and the the holy universe the holy abode Adam al Qudus wa ma'din al ruh and the fount of delight and these ma'din in Arabic usually it is uh, used for metals that have been in the earth for enough time long time so like iron uh, ore for example anything that is found naturally in its natural uh, state um, inside the uh, the earth and it is applied to human beings to uh, describe the uh, the uh, character of the human being so for example to say that uh, the madden of a specific person is uh, for example uh, um, generosity that he is generous that this is his madden it means that it has been in um, in his person uh, for a long time uh, so somebody who uh, acts generously once in his lifetime that's not though the act would be considered you know generous but that's not a madden it is uh, being there for uh, a very long time and it does not show the uh, the madden in the translation that is that if the poisons of heresy passions and entering the soul cause such a destruction 
that it always be perpetually and in and perpetually stands between the elevation of the soul and the uh, holy uh, abode and the fount of the light and ease and that of the Quranic verse of verses which contain arguments cure men from these poisons and remove their harm then are these verses most deserving of the name the greatest antidote or not with regard to the strongest musk let me point out that in the visible world it means a thing which man which man carries and from the visible world it mean it means a thing which man carries from which rises up a fragrant smell that makes it so much known and apparent that even if he wants to hide it it does not become hidden but spreads consider then that if in the cognitive position of man there is a thing from which fame spreads in the universe and by which it possessor, its possessor becomes famous or so famous that if he wants to disappear from people and prefers obscurity it makes him much more famous and exposes him then is not the name of the strongest musk the worthiest and most correctly applicable to it as you know the science of jurisprudence the knowledge of the judgments of the revealed law sharia brings fame to its possessors increases the attention of others to them and magnifies their influence upon others and the delight of fame and widespread influence which the soul obtains is much greater than the delight of fragrance of musk which the sense of smell obtains as to the aloe wood i wonder why they call it aloe wood really aloe is total different uh, genus compared to the uh, oud it is oud is used also in uh, english uh, they use uh, arrows wood and they use uh, agar wood Here they say it's not related to aloe vera because that's really my uh, this is why I uh, stopped for a um, for a second. So as for the uh, for the oud, to people it means a solid substance by which man is not profited so long as it is in its natural state but when it is charged with fire until it is burnt like uh, incense smoke rises from it and reaches the sense of smell then its benefits and uses become great and the place where it is burnt and the place to which it is thrown become odorous So if in the hypocrites and God's enemies there are shadows like the like blocks of wood propped up, no benefit is derived from them. But when there falls upon upon the God's punishment, and warning in the form of thunderbolts, sinking of land, and earthquakes, sinking of land is the chesf 
and uh, there is a, a hadith that speaks about the at the end of time you will have three uh, major uh, mm, mm, should be massive sinking of land in the east the west and the arabian peninsula and earthquakes so that they are burnt and the smoke rising from them reaches the sense of smell of other people's souls there's a great benefit in exciting others quest of the highest paradise and of the near presence of the true one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in turning away from error heedlessness and following of passion what's this uh, western culture today heedlessness and following of passion and they don't call an error an error if such be the case then is not the same or this is not the name of Arwood or the Garwood or the old the worthiest and most correctly applicable to it be therefore satisfied with this degree of explanation of these indications and find out the remainder for yourself and solve the indication in it if you are able if you are able and are among such people I could have made him hear had I called a living man but there is no life in him whom I call فقد أسمعت لو ناديت حيا ولكن لا حياة لمن أنادي Though the uh, burning of people in hellfire is uh, you know, to compare that to uh, to Oud. was burning burning of people it's gone it's a uh, it's a subhanallah chapter 10 the benefit of employing allegories in the Quran في الفائدة التي تحت هذه الرموز بين سبب جحود الملحدين بالأصول الدينية Perhaps you'll say it has become clear to me that these indications are correct and true. Is there any other benefit in them? Which you know, a hypothetical question. As a reply to your question, know that every benefit lies beyond these indications. For these are a sample presented here in order that you may know by them the definition of the road to spiritual meanings of the invisible world through the traditional words so that the doors of the unveiling of the meaning of the Quran may be opened may be opened to you and the methods of diving in their seas may be known we have seen many groups of people to whom outward aspects of the Quran became disordered and objections to these aspects came to their minds and they imagine that which contradicts these consequently their basic belief in the religion became corrupted and this corruption produced in them a secret denial of the resurrection the raising of the dead paradise hell and the return to god subhanahu wa ta'ala after death in fact uh, There are those who uh, deny this, and there are within, historically within, amongst Muslims, uh, 
one should read Tehafat al Philosophy, the first, the three um, out of 20, the three uh, issues that uh, Imam al Ghazali rendered the philosophers uh, disbelievers because, of, because they have adopted these, including the denial of the resurrection of. Uh, of bodies on uh, the day of judgment. I have uh, uh, myself. I was uh, uh, like a personal witness, if you will. The uh, patriarch, the um, the Latin patriarch of Jerusalem. He is now emeritus. Uh, Patrick Michel Sabba. He said uh, on the day of. Like there is no real, there is no real paradise, real hell, the way we think. He said that uh, either you are with Jesus Christ or not. That paradise is to be with him. Hell is simply to be uh, prevented from being with him. And those who, there are those in Judaism who believe in the. Uh, the reincarnation of the uh, of the soul, which is an influence of uh, Southeast Asian uh, religions. At any rate, they nurtured these objections in their secret minds, the bridle of their fear of God and the tie of piety became loosened. They went to great lengths in seeking the vanities of the world. Of course, if there is no hell and there is no paradise and there is no returning and there is no raising of the dead, there is no uh, resurrection, there is no uh, hereafter. Then what would pre- you know, what w- what could prevent you from uh, doing that, which is immoral and ethical, following your own uh, desires and uh, passions? They went to great lengths in seeking the vanities of the world, eating what is unlawful and following carnal desires. They limited their energies to the seeking of influence, wealth, and all forms of enjoyment of the present world. They looked upon the pious with the eye of disdain, deeming them ignorant. If they saw piety in a man, which they were unable to deny because of the abundance of his knowledge, the perfection of his reason and his piercing intelligence. They attacked him by saying that his motive was to deceive, to attract others and to turn their faces to himself. Thus the sight of piety in the pious only increased their arrogance and error. Although the sight of piety of religious people is among the greatest of the things which strengthen the belief of the believers. All this happened because their intellect was confined to the study of shapes of things and their imaginative forms. Their consideration was not extended to the spirit and realities of things. And they did not understand the parallelism between the visible world and the invisible. Since they did not understand that, and since the outward aspects of questions seemed to them contradictory, they themselves strayed from the right path and led others astray. Neither did they understand anything from the spiritual world through immediate experience. Though such as the understanding of the special people, Khawas, nor did they believe in the unseen, as is the belief of the layman. This reminds us of uh, Imam al-Harmin al-Juwaini, the uh, teacher uh, of Imam al-Ghazali. It, it has been uh, attributed to, the, to him that he uh, said 
towards the end of his life that he uh, wished to die in the uh, similar to the uh, elderly woman of Nishapur because their uh, their faith is uh, is pure in the sense of there's no doubt they have no doubt they have no it's not based on arrangement of uh, like a logical uh, uh, order in a sense it's, it's not uh, a sophisticated uh, theology uh, it's very simple thus their intelligence destroyed them ignorance is nearer to salvation than defective prudence and imperfect intelligence ignorance is near to salvation this is um, the simplicity of the elderly wo woman and of course without um, over generalization we do not regard that as improbable we have in fact stumbled in the extremities of these er errors for a long time because of the misfortune of evil companions and our association with them until God took us away from the extremities of these faults and saved us from their abyss to him to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore belong all types of perfect praise grace and bounty for directing us to the right on to the right path to the right way In granting this favor to us doing this benefit to us and preserving us from the abysses of ruin this is not of those things which can be obtained through effort and wish whatever of mercy God grants to men may be withheld by none and whatever he with, withholds may not be released by anyone he is the almighty the all wise ما يفتح الدعوة للناس بالرحمة فلا مسك لها وما يمسك فلا مسر له فلا مسر له من بعده وهو العزيز الحكيم قرصة شهود that which will uh, benefit you all people cannot benefit you with anything except that Allah سبحانه وتعالى has prescribed for you and they cannot harm you with anything except with that with that which Allah سبحانه وتعالى has prescribed for you the pens are dry and the, uh, the folios are folded as of course we have the notion of uh, acquisition because we don't know we don't know we just simply start our day you leave your house in the morning in the afternoon in the evening at night and you don't know what will happen what benefit or if there's any harm uh, a car accident for example or whatever inshallah we'll uh, continue the next chapter during the next session chapter uh, 11 variance in the excellence of Quranic verses. Until then, Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.